I've decided to create my own Paradox Pokemon. And to do this, I'll be enlisting the help of an AI generator to design my favorite Pokemon that we know are returning in the Scarlet and Violet Hidden Treasures of Area Zero DLC. We will be using information on Pokemon we know are returning in the new DLC. If you prefer to keep the surprise of these Pokemon for when you play the DLCs, maybe now's a good time just to skip over this video or even bookmark it for later when you've played the DLCs and see how close we can get with our design. Now I'm about to pick Pokemon that I would love to see us get Paradox Pokemon for, but I'd love to know what returning Pokemon you'd like to see get Paradox Pokemons in the new DLC. Even give them a typing and a name if you want and maybe if we do another video like this in the future we'll feature some of your selections down below. Right let's start off with Gen 1. I'm discounting any of the starter Pokemon. I don't think they're going to get Paradox forms and anything that's had a regional form in the past. Okay, I've been through the list of all the returning Pokemon to the new DLCs in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So the first Pokemon I'm picking is going to be Arbok. It is an iconic Gen 1 Pokemon. I think this would make a great Paradox Pokemon. Next one is Snorlax. I feel like Snorlax deserves a Paradox form. It didn't get a Mega Evolution. It hasn't had a regional form either. It did get a Gigantamax form, but we'll put that aside. But it will be one of our Paradox Pokemon. The Gen 2 Pokemon that we'll be picking for Paradox forms are going to be Lantern and Makago. Makago in particular because it just feels like it gets forgotten about. I feel like people don't remember that it's an actual Gen 2 Pokemon. It hasn't really been featured in many generations lately and I just absolutely love Lantern and feel like this thing deserves some sort of paradox form. There's only one real choice from Generation 3 and that has to be Flygon. Big fan favorite, always overlooked, hasn't had any sort of regional form, Mega Evolution or even a Gigantamax form. So in this video today, we are picking Flygon. I think another Gen 3 Pokemon that we're gonna pick is is going to be Metagross. Such a great Pokemon. I know it's had a mega evolution, but I just feel like it's an iconic Gen 3 Pokemon. Gen 4, I'm selecting Gliscor. I feel like there aren't too many selections here with returning Pokemon. Gliscor, one of my favorite Pokemon and something that I would love to see get a Paradox Pokemon. Gen 5 has so many good Pokemon. We are going to go with Scrafty all-time favorite gen 5 pokemon gen 6 doesn't have too much to choose from but for this one we're going to go with meow stick and i think it'd be fun to do like a future and a past form of meow stick so that's what we're going to go with and to make it a nice round 10 from gen 7 we're going to pick araquanid one of my all-time favorites super strong pokemon it was very close between that and vikavolt but we're going with araquanid so that would take us to 10 pokemon selected for paradox forms that would be arbok snorlax lantern Macargo, flygon metagross gliscor Scrafty, Meowstic, and Araquanid. That's 10. If we do a past form and a future form for both Makago and Meowstic, that takes it to 12 designs so far. And that feels like a good solid number. Like, generally, it feels like that could be a possible number of Paradox Pokemon that we get in the new DLCs. So with our 10 Pokemon, the AI generator that we're going to be using in today's video is Mid Journey. We're going to head over to Discord where we've got it set up and try and put some inputs in to see if we can get some good Paradox designs for our selected Pokemon. Ancient form of... Arbok. Let's give it the anime Pokemon style, smooth, and vector. These are kind of cool. I like them. I like I like these a lot. Yeah, that one, the bottom left one, looks really, really good. Get these as close to Pokemon designs as possible. I think if we add the command cute in here, this looks really cool. This looks more like a Pokemon. I think the art style's great. Let's upscale this one. I feel like we've got the Arbok locked down. Okay, let's go with, with Snorlax. Futuristic robotic version of Snorlax. Look amazing. These look insane. I can't believe how good these look. Okay, I think the one in the top right hand corner probably looks more Pokemon design like than anything other. Ancient form of Lantern. Let's do the Lantern. So an ancient form of Lantern. Oh my God. <laughs> do any of these to you look like a Lantern? They're both on the bottom look like birds. Ancient is not working out. Okay, let's try futuristic version of Lantern. I mean, what is, what is that in the top left hand corner? That's just like some, some anime girl, not a Lantern. And what is that on the bottom, bottom right hand corner? That is that just a machine. I mean, that's too far. It's not even fish-like. Okay, I think we have to change the parameters a bit. Like futuristic version of lantern fish Pokemon. Cool designs, but none of them really look like lantern. This is going to be tricky. Okay, futuristic fish Pokemon. Let's drop lantern altogether. Blue and yellow color. Okay, these are getting closer. I guess like not really lantern looking. Robotic fish Pokemon. Blue and yellow colors. We've got that down. Electric typing. That's more like it. Look at that. These look. These look way more like lantern. I, I don't know whether or not you would just look at these and be like, 
that's a future version of Lantern. I don't think we're quite there yet. Okay, let's move on. Ancient form of Makago Pokemon anime style. <laughs> None of these. None of these even resemble Makago. Okay, I think we can assume that the AI does not know what a Makago is. We're going to have to descale our description a little bit. Okay, let's try Ancient Lava Snail Pokemon. Oh, these look so much better. These look nice. Okay, we're on the right lines now. We've got a Lava Snail. I think because we're going to do an Ancient and a Future form of Makago, let's go for... We've done the Ancient one. Let's go for a Future one. Let's see how well we can do. With futuristic, robotic Lava Snail Pokemon. These look nice i like that one in the top right hand corner that is very cool that looks kind of derpy right i like it but this one in the bottom left hand corner almost looks like it could be a legendary pokemon but it's a bit too realistic to be a pokemon like a pokemon design it doesn't really feel like it's got that kind of pokemon anime style drawing about it okay the fan favorite let's go for the flygon futuristic flygon let's see if it knows what a flygon is with metal wings that sounds futuristic pokemon anime style vector smooth let's see the results that we get for this one. Ooh, look at those these definitely resemble a flygon like the coloration is right I feel like AI knows what a Flygon is. Let's try and just make it a bit more kind of Pokemon anime style. Let's see if we add the cute command like we did with the Arbok to see if that generates anything a little bit better. But this is very good. This is probably the best one that we've had so far, I think. Oh, these are, yeah, these are nice. I like them a lot. I like these a lot. This is cool. Okay, so I think we got Flygon down. Ancient form with Metagross. Prehistoric version of Metagross. Okay, okay. I can, I can... I, you know what? I can kind of see the Metagross resemblance here. Maybe not the bottom right-hand corner one. Maybe not this one. That just looks like a, a rock man. Let's change it to be more rock-like. Rusty old version of Metagross. Got words. It's like Bi Bionicle Man. Prehistoric version of Metagross. Less metallic, more bug features. Anime Vector. So let's try that. Ooh, these are super nice. These are cool. We're getting very, we're getting a lot closer. That bottom left-hand corner one feels like it could be on the on the right tracks. Version of Gliscor. Prehistoric bat Pokemon, purple and brown coloring. Okay, this is, this is more like it. Okay, that definitely looks like it could be an ancient form of Gliscor or Gligar. So this went on for a little while. We tried to get the 10 designs or 12 technically because we're doing a futuristic form and a past form for both Meowstic and Macargo. This took a little while, but wait for it. Here are the final versions of these Pokemon. First up, we have the ancient form of Arbok. Meet the new Paradox Pokemon Boss Strikes from Pokemon Scarlet. It is going to be a poison and dragon type Pokemon. It is going to be big, 3.5 meters. I thought this thing should be huge because it's part dragon. It's going to be big, like based on an anaconda. Let me know what you think of this Bar Strikes design and if you think the name's any good. Next up is our Paradox form of Snorlax. It's going to be a future Paradox form and this is it. Meet the new Paradox Pokemon Iron Gluttonous from Pokemon Violet going to be a normal and electric type Pokemon. I felt like it had to keep that normal typing and with the kind of big futuristic robotic aspect of it, it makes sense to go for electric. Next one is the Lantern and you know the struggles we had when we were trying to put inputs in for it. Mid Journey did not recognize what a Lantern was so we had to play around with it and this is the best that we've got. Meet the new Paradox Pokemon Iron Fins from Pokemon Violet. It is a water and steel type and not the biggest of Pokemon 1.5 meters, still pretty big for a fish. Obviously with that Quark Drive ability as well so this one I do like the design I don't know if you would instantly say that is a paradox lantern but I guess this is the best that we could do with what we did so probably one of the weaker designs but I really do like the design overall although I do think if we had a bit more time we could probably get it a bit closer to what lantern looks like next up is I'm a cargo paradox Pokemon so we're going with the ancient one first meet the new paradox Pokemon flame shell from Pokemon Scarlet I actually really like this we're going with the fire and steel typing so very similar to Heatran I think it could do a good job but may a lot faster I think the idea of this Pokemon would be it'd be small it'd be super fast be super powerful super potent and with that protosynthesis ability you get the sun and you get that fire typing which make it pretty strong and pretty threatening with that steel typing as well and the future form for the Macargo meet the new paradox pokemon iron spins from pokemon violet fairy and fire typing had to keep that fire typing with it but i thought fairy and fire would be quite a nice combination here again i think it's going to be more of a speedy pokemon Macargo was never really that fast in its base form so i think like the, both the ancient and the future ones just realized that they need some speed to do some work fire and fairy pretty cool 
And uh, I think this one, I do like this one. I do like both the Macaulay designs. So I don't know if this one feels like it's that much of a Pokemon design, but I could potentially see it as one of these Paradox future forms. Next up is the fan favorite, and it is going to be Flygon. This, again, is a really cool design. I love it. This is Meet the New Paradox Pokemon Iron Jets from Pokemon Violet. Going to be a Dragon and Steel type as well, just to play in with the futuristic kind of metallic form of it. And I love this design. I think the AI, I think Mid Journey got this spot on with that bug typing that Flygon obviously has from its pre-evolutions and then keeping that in this futuristic form. Obviously, we've not went bug typing for its final typing, but I think Dragon and Steel fits in perfectly. Next up is Metagross. Now, we did an ancient form of Metagross. So this is Meet the New Paradox Pokemon Granite Claws from Pokemon Scarlet. It is an ancient form of Metagross. And we went for Bug and Rock. I think that's an interesting type combination. This is a sleeper pick for me. I really like Granite Claws and I like the name as well. It feels cool. So I would actually kind of believe this if someone showed me this and said this is a Pokemon. I would believe this would be a Pokemon. I don't know whether I believe it would be uh, an ancient form of Metagross, but I think Mid Journey did a really good job of this one. So that is Granite Claws. Next, we've got the ancient form of Gliscor. We meet the new paradox Pokemon Dusk Wings from Pokemon Scarlet. I love this design, and it feels like it's got that like dragon gargoyle kind of look to it, with the kind of hints of a bat to it as well, which Gligar, Gliscor are. We went for a dark and dragon typing, so it plays in with that kind of gargoyle bat kind of theme with the typing and a dragon type as well, because in my head it just makes sense so this is dusk wings i really love the design of this again i think mid journey did a great job with it next we've got our ancient form of scrafty razor dash is its name from pokemon scarlet i think we went here we've lost the dark type and we went for fighting in fire here because it just feels like fire could be a good typing on it uh, this one like i say one of my favorites i'd love to know what you think of razor dash what do you think of the name or would you've named it something different next up we've got our past and future forms of meow stick the first one's going to be the ancient form i hope a lot of you like this one this is phantom pause i love the design of this one and although it looks small and cute this is actually a pretty big dog pokemon so it's 1.8 meters, so it's more like the size of like an Arcanine. And that's the idea I wanted to go with. And we've went for a Psychic and Ghost typing. I really like the idea of this typing on this Pokemon. I think like it could be a uh, Phantom Pose as well, playing with that name. Obviously losing the pure Psychic typing and going for a bit of a unique typing on it. But the design itself aesthetically is so pleasing. I love this one. I think overall, this is probably one of my favorite past forms that we've done in this video. But the futuristic form, of course, is going to be Iron Pounce. And this is the futuristic form of Meow Stick. It's going to be a steel and fairy typing, uh, one of my favorite typings. It looks convincing to me. It might not be as Pokemon looking as you would expect it to be, but I think this was as close as we could get it. And another one that we struggled with was the Araquanid. So we decided in the end to go for a futuristic form. Here is Iron Webs. Meet the new Paradox Pokemon Iron Webs from Pokemon Violet. We managed to get it with the water bubble over the top, which was really cool. That was tricky to do in mid journey, but I do feel like it's got the coloration of Araquanid and this kind of could be a future version of Araquanid if it evolved into this kind of robotic spider Pokemon. We went for water and fighting typing, one of my all time favorite typings. You get Keldeo with that typing as well. It's a pretty big spider, two meters, pretty heavy weighing in at 185 kilograms, but I actually love this design. I think it fits in with the Araquanid. It could be convincing. I don't know if it's just me because I know I'm doing an Araquanid design that I'm more convinced. But if you looked at it, I guess you could make the connection if you knew about Araquanid, right? Maybe, let me know. But these are all the new Paradox Pokemon we've created. We've got six ancient forms and then six futuristic forms. But let me know down in the comment section what you think of all of these designs. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. It was a lot of fun doing this. I'd love to do something similar in the future. If you've enjoyed it, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel for more of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.